Hey, what up, Reyes fans and YouTube? Um, if you're looking at the, if you're just tuning into this video and you looked at the title of this video, yeah, um, I want to give my thoughts on the shooting massacre that just happened in Las Vegas. Um, oh, and just so you know, this whole, this video, raw footage, no editing, no cutaways, nothing. I want to speak to all of you guys, my thoughts on this whole tragedy that just happened. So, like I said, this whole video, raw footage, no editing, no cutouts, because this is something that has to be talked about. This is something that needs to be said and talked about seriously. In all seriousness. The question is, why? Why did this have to happen? This past year, well, not just this past year, but and last year, these past two years now, We've been having nothing but shooting massacres throughout this whole country. Now, just two years ago, or maybe it was about two and a half years ago, we had the incident that happened and we had the massacre that happened in Florida. And then, I guess wherever else happened in the United in here in the United States, at this point, I can't really remember some on, on, off the back of my head because right now this is just something that's really affecting all of us. But anyway, like I said, these massacres, in each one of them, there have been people, there are those shooters, they've had their reasons, but this shooter, what they did in Las Vegas, the police, the FBI, they're trying to find out why did this guy do what he did. And all of us who are watching the news are wondering, why? Why did this guy do this? How were people, how were the, were the places that this guy went to? Where he when he booked his hotel, where he got he, he where he went to the gun shop to get his guns, apparent well yet yeah, okay where he got his guns. He bought them legally. He had the he 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 had the legal right to buy these guns, these firearms, everything. And when it comes to people buying like so many guns. You know, they never arouse suspicion because you know, if you have a license, they have a license. But, you know, why? I know I'm, I know I'm asking this why, but still, I'm still asking why. And I'm not, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure there are a lot of people across the United States, and you guys who are watching, even in other countries, they're probably wondering why. Why did this guy do this? Why did this have to happen? What was the motive? What was the goddamn motive? As you, as you can, if, if you guys are noticing as I'm looking up towards the other side of the camera, it's just I'm looking at, I'm watching the news, I'm watching pictures of the people who died. Like they're showing, right now they're showing pictures of the people who died at that concert. And they're doing interviews on, to, with people who survived, the survivors. They're showing the footage of, of that night. And just why? Just a month ago, me and my family took 
a vacation to Las Vegas. It was my first time going to Las Vegas. Being there, it felt like a city where there's possibilities, there's fun, attractions. To me, that's what Las Vegas is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a place where you can go to have fun, to meet new people, to gamble, and to have a good time with friends, family, anything. It makes me think, it, just the fact that me and my family were there just a month ago, and then a month later this happens. I just don't know. Why is it that these kind of things are happening? And I know, like, there are reasons why these... I'm sorry for my language, why these motherfuckers are doing this. I don't think... These guys... I don't think they stop to think about the tragedies that are gonna happen. At that concert, from the footage and pictures that they've shown of the people, these people who've died, they were mothers, they were fathers, they were sisters, they were brothers, they were aunts, they were uncles, they were kids, they could have been grand their grandparents. I don't think they, they never think, these shooters never think about the fact that how these are affecting the families. The families of the people that they, that they just killed. And now they have to live with it. These families have to live with the fact that they're never going to see the, their loved ones anymore. They have, to, they have to live with the fact that they're never going to see them again. And the thing is, the people who these the people who died they were not expecting something like this to happen that night nobody does nobody expects something like this to happen like 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 they say like later on in the night or in the day they never expected anything like this to, to happen to them especially in Las Vegas all those people who were there at that concert they were there just to have a good time just to spend you know, just to have a good time with friends or even with family who are there. They ne they didn't expect something like this to happen. Like, like during that day, you're out in Vegas, just having a good time. You're seeing everything, enjoying food, enjoying the food, the sights, drinking, everything. And then later on that night, you go to a concert. And again, you're having a good time. And then all of a sudden, you start hearing gunshots. Going, you start hearing gunshots. And then all of a sudden, everybody's ducking. They're trying to take cover. And then all of a sudden, everybody's just running. And people are wondering, where, where is this gun, where's the, where's this gunfire coming from? And just like that, 59 people dead and over 500 and something, 500 plus people injured. <sighs> this is something that can't be silenced. This is something that has to be talked about. And...
we've witnessed so many tragedies right now. Like just like I said, just this past year, there've been other shooting massacres. There've been the hurricanes. But this, just something. It's just, just the shooting that happened in Las Vegas. This is something. Like you would think, this is no different from any other shooting massacre. But somehow it is different because the gunmen, from what we've learned about this guy, he was not insane. This guy, apparently this guy was a millionaire. And this guy knew exactly what he was doing. And the question that I keep asking, and of course all of us, are going to keep asking, why? Why did this guy do what he did? Like I said, this guy was not insane. This guy was a millionaire. This guy had, apparently, at his other homes, he had a whole bunch of other guns. He had a lot of ammunition. And he had all these guns and ammunition in his hotel room at the, at the Mandalay Hotel. Just why? Why? Just why? Right now, my heart goes out to all those families, all the people who were struck by this, this tragedy. Like I said, nobody, nobody should have to go through something like this, especially when they're at a place, especially when they're at a place where they're just out having fun. You know, you, you would never expect something like this this to happen at a place where families are together or when you're with friends what it seems like it's it seems like it's become such a thing right now just this past year two years now and it's like what else can you do again my heart and my love goes out to everybody out there in Vegas all those families all the people I feel like the best thing we can do now is pray, but it feels like, but it feels like that's that's not enough. We have to do more than just pray. We have to do something. Just right, right now, what I'm doing right now, just talking to you guys, this is the best that I can do. But I know there's a way that I can help. There's a way that all of us can help. And, oh yeah, and also another, another part of my heart and love also goes out to the people of Puerto Rico. Cause I know that, you know, the hurricane that hit Puerto Rico that's a big tragedy as well. So right now, we got two big tragedies happening. The hurricane that hit Puerto Rico, that was the first thing that happened. And then now this, now the biggest shooting. Again, my heart, my love, and my prayers goes out to everybody in Vegas and everybody in Puerto Rico. Because right now, these are tragedies that just shouldn't happen. And all the families, this shouldn't be happening to. We can only do what we can. Help each other out. 
love one another. We are the world. We are one love. Right now, that's, that's what we need right now. We just need the love. We need the love right now. We need the support. We need the love of everybody who is affected by this. We just need the love. Isn't that all that we're... Isn't that all that we want in life right now? Like, at this point in life right now. We need love. We just need love. That's what we need right now. <sighs> Please help each other out. Love one another. We are one world. We are one love. Please help. Help one another. It's the best that we can do. Just help one another.